from Fox 5 New York, this is Good Day Wake Up. All right, good day, New York. It is Friday morning. It is 5 o'clock. I'm Dan Bowen. And I'm Tashani Whitlow. We appreciate you ending your week with us. Let's get you up to speed and out the door. Taking a live look outside, it will be a near perfect day with lots of sun and temperatures in the high 70s. Mike is tracking our full forecast, including the weekend as well. President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump doing their best to attract voters during the first presidential debate. We'll have the key issues covered during last night's debate and some of those things that went very wrong. And the TSA expecting today to be the busiest ever for airline travel in the U.S. history. What you need to know if you plan on flying out early for the holiday. And it's Friday, so if you're still looking for something to do this weekend, maybe you're sticking around here. We got you covered. A preview of all the great events happening in the tri-state this weekend. Looks like we're starting the weekend off with a pretty nice day, at least when it comes to the weather. A lot of other stuff going on, but the weather is nice. Yeah, for the most part, but we are expecting some showers to move in over the weekend, right, Mike? That's right, that's right. Uh, mainly kind of later on Saturday and into Sunday, things kind of go sour on you, and then here comes uh, the next work week, and that looks pretty good for us, but this is where we start you off this morning, still probably dropping. The sun's still not even up yet, officially, even though the sky's brightening up. 65 Central Park, 58 degrees, White Plains. We're running anywhere from 3 to as much as 14 degrees. From Fox 5 New York, this is Good Day Wake Up. All right, happy Friday. Good day, New York. It's just, it's 5.30 on this Friday morning. I'm Tishani Whitlow. Thanks for ending your week with us. That's right. I'm Dan Bones. We appreciate it, especially here on a Friday morning. We like Friday before a holiday week coming up next week. Anyway, it'll be a near perfect day out there. Lots of sun, temperatures in the high 70s, not a lot of humidity. Mike Woods is feeling good. We're feeling good. He'll tell us about the weather. All right. We're talking about the presidential uh, debate that happened last Last night between President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump, they took the stage to debate key issues concerning the U.S. Everything you need to know about last night's debate, we got you covered with highlights. Well, the TSA is expecting a record number of air travelers today. We know a lot of people drive for the 4th of July, but a lot of people are flying this year because you look like you might get an extra day or two. What you need to know before heading to the airport. And, of course, we got you covered in sports. The New York Yankees have been free. They've been in a free fall. They were on the road in Toronto hoping to turn things around after losing to the Mets. We got highlights from that game in sports. Wasn't pretty, uh, but, you know, it was pretty. The weather. The weather was real nice yesterday. It's looking good again today, Mike. At least uh, the early part of the day, right? We're good? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's fr- like by, it. the, by the way, I just stepped out with Inez, and guess what she's had? Did she do the fart walk? No. Oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. She might I had have. to ask if you were watching. That was you have to put this in context because that was so <laughs> fr- early. She said it was enough. cool and fresh outside, not that. Okay. <laughs> cool and fresh. I didn't know you guys grabbed breakfast. We'll get breakfast. back to that Just don't ask her how many days until Christmas. Sorry, exactly. guys. I'm sure no she's shade. all over that. It's a less than six months.